Edmonton Oilers vs. Dallas Stars Game 3 A Tactical Review The Edmonton Oilers faced off against the Dallas Stars in Game 3 of their highly anticipated playoff series, with both teams looking to gain an upper hand in what promised to be a hard-fought battle on the ice. The game showcased a clash of styles and strategies, with each team employing different tactics in an effort to outmaneuver their opponent and claim victory. The Oilers came into Game 3 looking to bounce back after a tough loss in the previous game, while the Stars were aiming to build on their momentum and take a commanding lead in the series. Both teams understood the importance of this game, as the winner would have a significant advantage moving forward in the series. From the opening face-off, it was clear that both teams were in for a physical and intense contest. The Oilers, known for their speed and offensive firepower, wasted no time in applying pressure on the Stars' defense. Led by their dynamic duo of Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl, the Oilers looked to create scoring chances and put the Stars on their heels early in the game. On the other hand, the Stars, known for their defensive prowess and structured play, were ready to weather the storm and look for opportunities to counterattack. With goaltender Anton Kutubin standing tall between the pipes, the Stars' defense held firm against the Oilers' relentless offensive onslaught, frustrating their opponents and keeping the game close. As the game progressed, both teams traded scoring chances and engaged in back-and-forth play, with each side trying to exploit their opponent's weaknesses. The Oilers continued to push the pace and generate scoring opportunities, while the Stars capitalized on turnovers and mistakes to create scoring chances of their own. One of the key tactical battles in Game 3 was the matchup between the Oilers' top line and the Stars' shutdown defensive pair. The Oilers leaned heavily on McDavid and Dreisaitl to generate offense, but the Stars' defense, led by John Klingberg and ESA Lindell, did an admirable job of containing the dynamic duo and limiting their scoring chances. On the other end of the ice, the Stars' top forwards, including Jamie Benn and Joe Pavelski, worked tirelessly to break down the Oilers' defense and create scoring opportunities. The Oilers' defense, anchored by Darnell Nurse and Oscar Clefbaum, stood tall against the Stars' offensive pressure, making key stops and limiting their opponents' chances. Special teams also played a crucial role in Game 3, with both teams looking to capitalize on power play opportunities and swing the momentum in their favor. The Oilers' power play, one of the most potent units in the league, looked to take advantage of the Stars' penalty kill and break the deadlock, while the Stars' penalty kill unit stood firm and denied the Oilers' power play opportunities to score. In the end, it was a tightly contested battle that came down to the wire, with both teams fighting tooth and nail for every inch of ice. The Oilers' offensive firepower and speed posed a constant threat to the Stars, while the Stars' defensive structure and discipline play kept them in the game until the final buzzer. As the game went into overtime, the tension in the arena was palpable, with both teams knowing that a single mistake could cost them the game. In the end, it was the Oilers who managed to capitalize on a scoring chance and secure a hard-fought victory, evening the series and setting the stage for an exciting continuation of the playoff series. In conclusion, Game 3 between the Edmonton Oilers and Dallas Stars was a prime example of playoff hockey at its best, with both teams showcasing their strengths and battling fiercely for supremacy on the ice. The tactical nuances and strategic battles that unfolded throughout the game kept fans on the edge of their seats, and set the stage for what promises to be an intense and thrilling series moving forward.